Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I got my, well not actually today, a few days ago I received my August um, sketch box in the mail and um, I haven't been able to open it or do anything with it yet because um, we left on vacation and as you can see the backdrop behind me I'm in the middle of the woods camping um, near Lake Superior in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan and it's just gorgeous here but anyway here's my sketch box and here's the artwork that's on the box this month it is by Tomoko Basan and it was made with her June sketch box so a couple months ago um, so anyway, let's go ahead and open this and see what I have inside. Okay, this isn't the most flattering angle, but I don't have my tripod with me to hook up to for my video. So you're going to have to bear with me. And I've only had two hours of sleep. We rode until the wee hours in the morning. Um, we got a late start leaving on our vacation. We were supposed to leave at 2.30 in the afternoon. We left at 9.30 at night because of... An issue um, and drove until about I don't know 2 30 in the morning and then I couldn't fall asleep so at about a quarter to five I fell asleep and then at 6 30 or 7 my husband was up and ready to go again and I thought holy crap so I'm exhausted but um, I want to get using this so I just broke the seal on this and we'll see what's inside oh that was hard to open. Okay, first of all, we've got, oh, this is kind of ironic since I was going to go sketch a lighthouse today. It's a lighthouse sketch. This is um, by featured artist Roger Ledoucer, Ledoucer, L-A-D-O-U-C-E-U-R. I know that's probably French, and I took Spanish, so I'm sorry I butchered it. It says here, I was fortunate to have a great art teacher growing up in Massachusetts. They taught me a wide array of styles and forms of media. It's because of their teachings that I was selected into the illustrator draftsman rate in the U.S. Navy. After completing my service, I turned my artistic passion toward tattooing. I served a three-year apprenticeship and worked in several studios up and down the East Coast. In 2006, I opened Star City Tattoos in Roanoke, Virginia. So shout out to Star City Tattoos. And if you're in Roanoke, Virginia and looking for a tattoo, looks like this guy's very talented. I paint in oil, acrylic, pastels, but enjoy colored pencil the most. Using multiple forms of media has nurtured my need for artistic growth. Every day that I'm able to open my eyes is an opportunity to push a little harder into the areas of art that I have yet to uncover. I'm thankful for the little box of joy that shows up on my doorstep at the beginning of each month. I know that I will be off on another artistic adventure as soon as my sketchbox arrives. Thank you, sketchbox. That was really nice. And look at that beautiful work. That is really good work. So, this looks like it's graphite month, and I am not a graphite artist at all. Okay, yes, we have our trusty green stuffing. I love this stuff. It's just cool. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people hate it, but... Um, okay, we've got a good uh, General's Knitted Eraser. These things are awesome. I start building them up, and I've got one that's huge. <laughs> I can hold it as a, in a fist, just about. Uh, create a color stump for blending. Um, these are made out of um, press, compressed paper, and I think they do it in a wet process, but if you look at this, the edges are all rolled up into a cone. Um, they're really nice. And another gum erase oh this is a gum eraser not a um kneaded eraser but a gum eraser one of these brown ones this one's also by general so i've got two erasers so far i guess i'm gonna need to do a lot of erasing oh and here's a third eraser by create a color monolith line this is a white um eraser nice and flexible too 
Um, these are nice erasers. I have them from a different company. I love the triangle ones. The triangle ones are great because you can really get into edges, but um, these are nice. I think they want us to compare these. I'm getting that hint. And then, oh wow, Faber-Castell Pit Graphite Set. This has um, a jumbo graphite pencil in 2B, right in the middle. Um, then it has a 2B graphite pencil, a water-soluble 2B pencil, a graphite pure pencil in 6B, and a graphite crayon in 6B. Oh, this must be the graphite crayon. Like I said, I'm not a graphite artist, but there's more. Of course, my sketchbox sticker. I love these. I put them all over my sketchbooks. And I even, on my sketch bag, let me keep one on the back of my sketch bag. It's been on here for about five months, and it has not even come up. These things are awesome. I love them. Um, and then we got Graphite Aquarelle 8B Create a Color Pencil. So this is a water... Um, water soluble graphite pencil in 8B. Then we have a Derwent sketching dark wash 8B pencil. Oh, this is funny. I have a set of these. I'll show you in just a second. And a general sketch and wash. Looks like it says 58B, but that cannot be possible. Um, and that's everything. And it says here that the Faber-Castell Pit Master Graphite Set retails for $24.95. Actually, I've seen these online at Amazon, on Amazon Prime, for $31.95. So that's, that's pretty good. Um, comes to about $38.75, give or take a few pennies, and it's a $35 box. So that's not bad at all. And they may have been generous with this pricing on this Pitmaster Graphite set. So I'm going to open these up and <laughs> I will make an attempt to do some graphite art. But you guys got to really don't give me a thumbs down for this because I am not a graphite artist. I will do my best to give it a shot. Oh, but I did want to show you the set that I do have. Um, I always carry these with me when I'm sketching. Um, these are the Derwent. This is a Derwent uh, water-soluble graphite uh, pencil set and you can see it's been through war. <laughs> it's all dented up. Um, this lid comes off and they come in light, dark, light, medium, and dark wash. And what I did, they all have black tips like this, but what I did was I took white nail polish and gray nail polish and put them on there so that I know what my white, my light, medium, and dark wash are at a glance without having to spin the pencils and read everything on here. One of the things I wanted to show you though, um, I made a mistake when I was pointing out the supplies, and there is another, another eraser. It's called an Art Eraser Dust Free, and it's got a double sharpener, which is really nice. And if you're going to get a hand sharpener like this, these are the best kind to get. I can tell you I've bought many of them over the years. These are great little portable sharpeners. If you get the metal ones, they hold up. They have the razor blades in them, but the metal holds up to the pressure. Plastic ones can crack. And if you're going to get a hand sharpener like this, these are the best kind to get. I can tell you I've bought many of them over the years. These are great little portable sharpeners. If you get the metal ones, they hold up. They have the razor blades in them, but the metal holds up to the pressure. Plastic ones can crack. And then they take chunks out of your pencils. So uh, this thing was a, um, this is another, um, this is a woodless graphite pencil, which I also have in a set of pencils uh, that I love. Um, this one's by, of course, Faber-Castell, and they put a plastic coating on the outside of it so that it keeps it, actually, this is actually peel-off plastic, which is really strange, but I have the Generals, no, Kui Noor pencils that are um, woodless, woodless graphite pencils. These are old. You can tell I've had them a long time, but 
I don't use graphite very much because look, they're still almost full. But um, this set is a really good set. Okay, so first I'm gonna show you the water soluble pencils here. I just wanna show you, um, there were actually four in the set. The set in the box also had one. Um, <clears throat> so this is the Fiber Castell. These are all to be general. Create a color and Derwent. Derwent is the set that I have. I'm just going to show you all of them. This is the Derwent pencil. Let me just um, put a little bit of graphite down. So we got Derwent, create a color. I'm using the same pressure on all of them. Faber Castell. And General. That one seems very flaky when it comes out. Now I'm going to take some water and I'm going to show you. First is the, this is the Derwent. Oops, that's a little bit wet. That's the Derwent pencil. And the next one is the Create a Color. Create a color comes off very dark, but it doesn't spread very far. The Derwent is a little bit lighter and spreads a long ways. This one has almost nothing on it. That is the Faber-Castell. Wow. And then the last one is General. So out of all of these, I would say that the the Derwent spreads the furthest. Let me just try one more time and see this once I fix the water on this and see if it just spreads further. Yeah, it still spreads a long way. The other ones do not. I would say that out of all of them, Derwent is about medium value. The Whoops, I'm sorry. The um, Faber-Castell is the lightest in value. And then um, the General seems to come off very flaky, um, spreads very easily. Uh, let me feel the texture on these. That was the General. This is the Faber-Castell. That one feels okay. Derwent and create a color. Create a color feels more buttery, I would say. Derwent feels natural. That create a color is very dark, I have to say. That's really a dark one. It's amazing to me how, how much darker that is. So you can see the difference in those pencils. Now, okay, so now on to erasers. Um, we are given the Create a Color, a Faber-Castell, and a gummy or a kneaded eraser, which I lost. So I'm using my own that I had before. It's actually coupled together. This